Because the Earth absorbs and stores much of the energy it receives from the Sun as heat, underground temperatures remain constant at a point between 42 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit year-round, depending on where you are in the United States. A geothermal heat pump system can use this energy source to economically heat and cool almost any kind of building. It can heat water, provide refrigeration, and perform many other applications. A geothermal heat pump system is comprised of three components. A heat pump, usually located inside the building, where it is protected from the environment and vandalism. An underground heat exchanger to act as a heat sink to store energy in the earth when cooling and to extract energy from the earth when heating and a distribution system to provide comfort control for the building space. Yeah, I live here in Yarmouth, Maine, and this house was built in 2000, 2001, moved in in January of 2001. Well, it was sort of a design-driven process where I wanted to uh, minimize environmental impact. So I, the fact that you could get a heating system that didn't use fossil fuels it was attractive to me. And you could run it with electricity, and then you could ultimately get your electricity from renewables, so you could have a, uh, a system that produced no um, gas, no pollution on-site, and then you run that with um, systems that, pr that produce little or no pollution off-site, and I think that's a sustainable Go, I want to have a sustainable house. You're pumping heat into 45 degree earth. So it's easy to push that heat into the earth as opposed to normal air conditioners pumping heat into 90, 95 degree air, which, which takes more energy. So they're very, very good in, in the air conditioning room. And then what's fun about that is you're pumping heat in, and then you later use that heat to heat the house, so you're just running it backwards. So in effect, you're storing heat from the summer for use in heating hot water or space heating. Probably a little bit more work than a conventional system in that regard, but you know, you just do that once, and then there's le less on the other side because it's a pretty simple system to, to keep running. Um, I'd hope to get our energy bill under $500 a year here. I don't think we're quite there yet, probably over that, but it's still compared to oil and natural gas. I think it's, it's pretty significant in operating costs. Due to the efficiency, environmental benefits, and financial savings that geothermal heat pumps offer, it is our responsibility to implement this alternative energy resource to reduce our negative impact on the earth.